Yeah. We the stars of the galaxy and we know that. My first time in Ibiza, I came on an 18 to 30s holiday with um, five friends. We were in San Antonio. I think I went to, um, I remember going to Money Mission and to Pasha and then Elder, um, S. Parody and stuff. But yeah, I, re I remember one of my best memories is in Money Mission listening to Farley Jack Master Funk playing Stardust. The music sounds better with you. And like scratching, what there's a middle bit in the record where it goes, where it's just the kick drum, and he was scratching the kick drum and went, do, 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 for ages. Everyone's going crazy, it's great. <laughs> Loved it. Just, well, depends on where I'm at. Like this year, now I just come home and maybe grab some some food on the way home and just just relax and enjoy the view for five minutes before I have to get working. It really depends on on the day really I mean obviously um, it's called sometimes now in Ibiza you, you in your land you go out of the tunnel into the airport it's a new thing this year before you always came off the steps into a bus and you know when you open the doors you can instantly feel the air and the heat and it's amazing we made this track and shut the dance floor oh yeah of course I mean I've been living here, I've spent most of the summer in Ibiza since, I mean, I came here first in 1998, but yeah, living here, 2000, so it's that 13 years, I've spent almost every summer here, so it's like my second home. So yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I love, I love being in London, when the weather's good in London, I love it, but, um, you know, there's, there's nowhere like here in the summer, it's great. It's cool in the winter too, but... Um, I'm not. I'm not really a beach person. I mean, I do. I love going swimming in, in the ocean, but it's like I go in the half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, and I'm like, what do I do now? Lie in the sun and get a suntan. <laughs> no. So, um, but I love. There's some really nice small ones in the north, and I, I just say yeah, I surrender. Yeah. yeah, I like them. Hmm. It changes a lot because restaurants in Ibiza, I have to say, are really inconsistent. <laughs> you can go one week or one month and it's amazing. You can go back or take friends there and you can be, yeah, this place is amazing. Go back and it's like, mm. I think maybe it's because the chefs party too much. <laughs> In the beginning of the summer, it's great, and then by, by August, everyone's tired. And like, uh, but um, it's in, um, it's overlooking Esvedra. It's called like, uh, uh, Bonga. Yeah, it's looking at Esvedra. It's like a, what's it called? What's it say? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I love paella. I love it. <laughs> I eat it like three times a week, <laughs> four times a week. I love it. Yeah. Oof. I have so many. Um. Most incredible moment in Ibiza. I mean, my first time in DC Town was one of them for sure. I mean, I, I, I can't choose a particular moment because I have so many, but I can tell you my favourite set I've heard in Ibiza was, um, like my favourite two sets, one was Lauren Garnier on Space Terrace in 2002, I want to say. Um, so obviously Space Terrace used to be a different shape, just looked different layer, that was great, and it was you know, still open air, you could hear the planes, you know. That's what I miss as well, people going, wow, when the plane's going over. Um, yeah, and the other one was DJ Ralph from Italy, in, in Soco Loco in DC10, um, in maybe 2001. But yeah, those, those are two musical memories I have, but I mean, yeah, don't know if I want to say some of my favourite memories. <laughs>